So let me just show y'all what I got here. This is something new I'm going to tinker with and uh, hopefully it works really well. I like the concept a lot. This is called the Hog Half Comb System. It's sold by um, Better Bee, I believe. Um, that's where I got it. Uh, it's similar to all your other, you know, in situ comb, <coughs> uh, comb produ honeycomb production things like Ross Rounds, or there's another one, um, Bo Pack, I think. Uh, but I went with this one because I like the the display on it. This is the only one that I saw that has a full 360 view, or almost 360 view, where you'll be able to see the honeycomb inside from every angle. The Ross Rounds, you put a you know an opaque label around the outside. And uh, the bio packs, I think you can see through the lid, but I like this one because of the presentation of it. So we'll see. I haven't seen a lot of people running these, at least not <laughs> as far as making YouTube videos and whatnot. Um, so hopefully, you know, I get mine out there and then help somebody else out. But it's it's real simple concept. You've got these little cassettes in here, and I'm not gonna take them out and show you. You can look it up yourself. Uh, but you've got each of these little cassettes. Each one holds uh, just shy of a pound of honey, I believe, maybe three quarter pound. Uh, and it's got beeswax foundation on the bottom of each one, stamp with your honeycomb pattern. And the ideal, you've got a slot here where the bees can get out. The ideal is that the bees will pack all the honey in here. The reason they call it half comb is because your foundation is mounted to the bottom or the side. And the bees will draw this out as a really deep honeycomb, so to speak. Instead of being a double-sided honeycomb, it's a one-sided deep honeycomb uh, to pack in your pure comb honey. So I bought two of these just for a little uh, experiment. You know, I sell comb honey <laughs> here and there. It's not really my most popular thing, um, but I'm hoping that if I have it in a turnkey sort of shape like this where I can just grab a pack and hand it to somebody versus having to go cut a chunk, put it in a jar, fill it with honey, all that, I'm hoping this will make it a little bit more marketable. Uh, so anyway, I've got this hive here. It's a nice, strong hive. They've got brood in the deep and the medium above, so I'm going to put on my queen excluder. I normally don't run queen excluders, but in this case, I'm going to because I'm making the uh, doing the comb honey production. So I've got put it on this hive. And um, I've got one other one I'm going to mount on one other hive in my yard. So we'll get them put on. And uh, honey flow is coming. There's a little bit of a weak honey flow going right now. Uh, but our main honey flow is coming in about a month. So hopefully they uh, pack this baby full. And I'll get you all an update later this year when I go to harvest it off. And we'll see how they did. Okay, so we just got it set up now. I didn't figure I needed to show you what I was doing. But um, hopefully it's pretty obvious, you know. Uh, so anyway, brood chamber here. Queen excluder, hog half comb. I put them on the bottom just because I want them to be the most likely to get drawn. Medium super with fresh foundation and uh, right cell, and medium super with drawn combs left over from last year. Um, so we'll see. This is kind of a little test to see if they show any sort of preference for what they want. I've definitely seen in the past that if you leave waxed foundation, uh, waxed plastic foundation sitting out where the bees can get it. During times of dearth, they'll go and strip the wax off that foundation, and so you'll be left with just plastic, and then they don't want to accept just stamped plastic later on. So I'm actually, it's another project I'm working on with a lot of my older plastic foundation, um, cleaning it all up real good and uh, getting it rewaxed. but that'll be a different video for a different time. But for now, installing the hog half comb, we're going to get her closed up and uh, see what happens.